Welcome to part 2 of the 3 part How to Play Hyper Duken series. Last time we went over the victory condition, playmat, card types, and effect types. This time we are going over the turn structure for Hyper Duken. Let's start by placing your burst Oryx fighter and their two Carter cards into your corner. Now place your fighter's tool behind your fighter with aggressor concealed and your hyper meter set to zero. Now take your arsenal, shuffle it, then place it into the arsenal zone and decide who goes first. The turn of Hyper Duken starts with the turn player entering their prepare phase. At the start of your prepare phase, look at the top four cards of your arsenal. Then place any amount of those cards on the bottom of your arsenal and the rest on the top. Now draw cards until your hand has exactly four cards. You may now set tactic cards and use setup effects. To set a tactic card, place it into play face down. When you want to use it later, it must be under its effects normal conditions and you must pay discard one in addition to its other costs. To use the setup effect of a card in your corner or in play, state that you are using it, then do so. You may only use the setup effects of cards in your corner and in play once per turn. If the setup effect is on a card in your hand, place it into play. Use the setup effect, then when it resolves, if it doesn't stay in play or go to a specific zone by its own effect, place it into your exhaust. Once you've finished setting tactic cards and using setup effects, you enter your decisive phase. In the decisive phase, you can choose whether to initiate combat and start fighting, or proceed to the end phase and end your turn. If you decide to initiate combat, pull your fighter down to reveal aggressor. You are now the aggressor and your opponent the defender. You may now use any trigger effects with the conditions of initiating or entering combat. After this, your opponent draws cards until they hold exactly 4 cards in their hand. Then use any trigger effects with the condition of entering combat. You may now make an action. An action is either using an act effect, attacking or passing. To use an act effect of a card in your hand, place it into play. Use the act effect, then when it resolves, if it doesn't stay in play or go to a specific zone by its effect, place it into your exhaust. To use an act effect of a card in your corner or in play, state that you are using it, then do so. You may only use the act effects of cards in your corner and in play once per combat. To perform a normal attack, start by paying its key cost. An attack's key cost is its level, found on the top left of the card, and to pay its cost, send that many cards from your key pool to your exhaust. After paying the attack's key cost, place it into play and use any attack effects it may have. Your opponent may now choose whether they will block the attack or not. If they do choose to block the attack, and they are using a block card from their hand, they place their block card into play, then use any block effects their block card may have. After all effects resolve, your attack card resolves and is sent to your key pool, unless effects say otherwise, and their block card is sent to their exhaust. If they do not block your attack, it inflicts combat damage equal to its POW, POW being found on the middle right of the card. To inflict combat damage to your opponent, cards are revealed from the top of their arsenal, then sent to their exhaust, equal to the damage inflicted. If a breaker card is revealed as combat damage from your attack, your opponent uses its breaker effect, then resumes with the remainder of the combat damage. After combat damage concludes, you may now use any hit effects the attack has, but once all effects resolve, the attack card resolves and is sent to your key pool, unless effects say otherwise. Hyper attacks are a little different to normal attacks. Only being found on the backside of EX fighters, unlike normal attacks, hyper attacks cannot be paid for with key, but hyper. To perform your EX fighters hyper attack, 
Pay Max Hyper by setting your Hyper from Max to zero, then place it into play. While in play, you are still considered to have your EX Fighter in your corner. From here, it works exactly like a regular attack, except for when it resolves. When a Hyper Attack resolves, it returns to your corner and flips back to the EX Fighter side. You may only perform a Hyper Attack once per combat. To pass, just state you are doing so. After your action resolves, your opponent gets to make an action. They may choose any of the three options, use an Act Effect, Attack or Pass, doing exactly as you did. If both players pass in succession, combat ends, you cease being the aggressor and the turn proceeds to the end phase. In the end phase, both players may place any number of cards from their hand on the bottom of their arsenal. Then your turn ends and your opponent's turn begins with their prepare phase. Now you know how to play Hyper Jukin. Be sure to keep an eye out for part 3 where we look at keywords and attributes. If you want to keep up to date with Hyper Jukin news, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.